In the first chapter of John's Gospel, we read of John the Baptist seeing Jesus one day and making a declaration. His statement is recorded in John 1.34. What did John the Baptist declare about Jesus on this occasion? The manuscripts disagree. Did he say, this is the Son of God, or this is the Chosen One of God? The majority of the witnesses, impressive because of the diversity in age and locales, read, this is the Son of God. Most scholars take this to be sufficient evidence to regard the issue as settled, without much of a need to reflect on internal evidence. On the other hand, one of the earliest manuscripts for this verse, P5 from the 3rd century, evidently read, this is the chosen one of God. There is a gap in the manuscript at the point of the disputed words. It is too large for the word son, especially if that is written as it surely would have been as a nomen sacrum, or a sacred name. This is an abbreviated name, or using just a few of the letters of a larger word. In this case, it would be using just two letters of the four-letter word. The term chosen was not a nomen sacrum, and it would therefore have taken up much more space. It's the Greek word eklektos. Given these two variants, there is hardly any question as to what P5 read. This papyrus has many affinities with Codex Sinaiticus, which here also has the Chosen One, and Codex Sinaiticus is one of the most important biblical manuscripts of the New Testament that exists today. In addition to their combined testimony, the recently discovered P106, along with several Latin and Syriac manuscripts, also support this reading. P106 is particularly impressive, for it is the second third century papyrus in support of the Chosen One. A third reading combines these two. The Chosen Son, found in some early Latin, Coptic, and Syriac witnesses. Although the evidence for chosen is not as impressive as that for son in the manuscripts overall, the reading is found in early Alexandrian and Western witnesses, and it therefore has a sufficiently strong enough pedigree to be considered as plausibly authentic. Turning to the internal evidence, the chosen one clearly comes out ahead. Son of God is a favorite expression of the evangelist. It occurs in John 149, 3.18, 5.25, 10.36, 11.4, 11.27, 19.7, and 20, verse 31. Further, there are several other references to his son or the son or the like in this gospel. Scribes would be naturally motivated to change chosen one to son, since the latter is both a Johannine expression and is on the surface richer theologically in 134. On the other hand, there is not a sufficient reason for scribes to change son to chosen one. The term never occurs elsewhere in John. Chosen clearly best explains the rise of son. Not only this, but the third reading, chosen son of God, is patently a conflation of the other two. It has all the earmarks of adding son to the word chosen. Thus, the Son of God is almost certainly a motivated reading. As Raymond Brown notes in his celebrated commentary on John's Gospel, on the basis of theological tendency, it is difficult to imagine that Christian scribes would change the Son of God to God's chosen one, while a change in the opposite direction would be quite plausible. Despite the weaker textual evidence, therefore, it seems best to accept God's chosen one as original. Brown made this comment before the discovery of P106 was made. Now with two early papyri and Codex Sinaiticus on its side, the reading chosen one has strong external and internal support and should be considered authentic.